We'll be teaching you guys exactly when to learn how to stop trading. Now, a lot of you guys are always asking for strategy videos, ICT concept videos, but there's no one asking me, Zedman, when do I know when to stop trading? Now, if you guys understand with trading, less is more. Less is more in trading. If you're someone who places two, three, four, five times a day, then I can guarantee you're probably experiencing very high drawdown or taking a lot of losses simply because you're staring at the charts all day. Now, how can you actually identify lower probability um, scenarios and lower probability environment? And when can you actually know when to stop trading? So first off, I'm going to be creating a whole checklist for you guys, step by step in really understanding when you should know when to walk and wait. Now, ICT actually does um, introduce this in some of his videos in which I've taken away and I will be putting it in one video for you to actually teach. So make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to be creating a whole checklist for you. Um, I'm really showing you guys why and when and how to stop looking at the charts and always over trading. So without further ado, let's step straight into the video. Now, let's create a checklist, okay? So <coughs> there's a few points you guys need to know when to actually stop yourself from actually being actively on the chart. So first things first, when you're, uh, sorry, out of kill zone timing. Now listen here. I've been trading for four years and I can tell you all the mistakes that I've actually made. When I'm still staring at the chart, even when kills on time and it's ended, I tend to then get impulsed into a trade, a silly trade, just because I'm simply watching the chart for no reason out of my kills on time. So again, uh, the session is to trade London open kill zone and New York open New York Open Kill Zone. Now, London Open Kill Zone is from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. and New York Open Kill Zone from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, this is New York timing. Uh, ICT refers to New York timing, so remember, anything that I'm talking about right now is about New York timing. So convert it to your local uh, timing or um, simply just work it on the basis of New York timing. So, out of Kill Zone timing, stop <coughs> sitting at your desk watching the, watching the chart even when your kills on timing, uh, even when you're not in your kills on timing, stop doing that. It's a bad habit. There's no re there's no care in the world for what price is doing when your business hours are not open. Okay, that's like me closing my shop down, shop down outside and shutting the shutters and just standing in front of it and watching it for no reason, make sure it doesn't get robbed. That's stupid, right? You need to stop doing that with the charts. Now, step two: when high time frame bias. right has been met or is unclear now i'm going to give you guys a example <coughs> right now so for the weekly time frame on gold right now um i'm going to show you so i was um i wanted price to come down to this uh sell side liquidity pool now we didn't quite get there price was really choppy this week as you can see we were just moving up down we had these random spikes price was very unclear okay what does that mean? I want to get to the sell side liquidity pool. I was looking for sales, but then price started messing around. As soon as prices started messing around and my higher time frame bias is now no longer being met clearly and how probably I want it to be, step out of the charts. Look, I can show you here, right? Oh, um, give me a second. So as you can see here, in our free telegram the link is going to be in the below um no trades this week there was no trades this week as you guys can see gold be moving with i explain exactly why i'm not trading your higher time frame bias needs to be clear or if your higher time frame bias has been met so if the sell side liquidity pool if price for whatever reason had met there i'm i'm simply done for the week because i had prepared for this move down I'm not going to randomly come up with a scenario in the middle of the week and then probably drop my probabilistic uh, outcomes. You only need one to two to three trades a week, profitable, right, to, to make you a killing. Even one, one, one trade for me makes me a month's wage. So it's not anything important. So remember, outside kills on timing, stop watching your charts. Secondly, if your higher time frame bias has been met uh, from when you did your top-down analysis at the start of the week, 
go away from the charts, your week is done. Or if it's unclear, if price is moving choppy, these these very unprobabilistic out, uh, environments, leave it, go away, close down the chart. You don't have to trade. This is the beauty of trading, okay? If you're trying to force trades, that is where you are going to start losing, over trading, doing silly mistakes, okay? Done. So, again, that's when you should know how to stop trading. Um, thirdly, what's another mistake that I've made in my past, uh, which has resulted in me... Um, done. Okay, three. Stick to your rule. So, as soon as you break a rule, for example, your rule is one loss a day, right? You take a loss, go away from the chart. Why? You're going to start revenge trading. You're going to try and make that loss back. You're going to, you, God knows what you're going to do with the charts, right? If your rule is one loss a day, walk away, turn the computer off. I can guarantee, look, let me, let me say this too. If I could guarantee you next week, you're going to make 5k on Thursday, right? If you don't trade more than once each and every single day, would you do it? If I could guarantee that 5k is going to come by Thursday, you would do it, right? So, why are you forcing it? You're going, you're profitable. You now know the strategy. You now know how to trade, but you're still making silly mistakes by by, by breaking your rules. Stick to your rules. Your rules are there for, I know it might not feel good at the moment that you took a loss, blah, blah, blah. But for the long longevity of your, of your career, stick to it. I remember, a lot of you guys here are still working jobs. You want to quit that job. You need to be doing everything in your power to make sure you're following trading rules because you want to quit that job as soon as possible, right? The more you stick to your rules, the quicker that that time will come where you're more profitable and you can literally start working. Uh, that's sort of going to be the three three um, outlines on when to actually know when to stop trading. Of course, there's a lot more mistakes that people make. However, these are the main ones. Obviously, don't look at your charts outside your business hours. If your high time frame bias has been met or it's unclear, don't look at the chart. If you start breaking your rules, your trading plan, turn off the computer. Straightforward. It's very easy to say, but it's very hard to do. Sometimes I still make these mistakes. These mistakes can happen, but control your mistakes. Make sure you're learning from your mistakes, right? You know where you're going wrong. Be accountable. You have to be accountable. With a trading, right? There's not a boss that's gonna gonna take responsibility for you. Your mum's not gonna take responsibility. It's you and the charts. Okay? So remember guys, this is sort of just a little short video on how to really understand how to stop trading. I know it's very straight to the point um, and a bit cliche, but a lot of you guys do need to hear this. Now, one last thing. If you want to join our free Telegram in the link below, obviously there's nothing in it. We just share so much value. Why I didn't trade this week. Uh, weekly breakdowns are dropping here. Um, payouts, new videos are going to come out all for free. So do join that in the link below. Um, we do tons of giveaways in here as well. Just the profits that I make for the week. and right there, there. Um, Everything will be dropped in that Telegram. So do go ahead and join that Telegram in the link below.